What's going on guys, it's me the Cats, and welcome back to another episode of playing on an SMP like it is 2012. This is episode number 17, and this is going to be our epic mining episode. Uh, we need to do a whole bunch of mining because we need to get ourselves the next size protection stone. So at the moment we have a diamond protection stone, but we're still yet to get the emerald stone and then the redstone stone. <laughs> So, yeah, I want to see if it is possible to get the Emerald Stone, but I understand it is very expensive, and even if we can't get it, if we can get another Diamond Protection Stone, that's a good start, because we have started working on our base, but our current Protection Stone region only comes up to this point here, and so does our base, and we obviously need to keep on working on this area over here, and I don't want to do so until it's protected, and guaranteed safe from being griefed. So, let's talk about our, our protection stone, I guess, and the next size that we need. So, the way the protection stones work, in case you guys don't know, is you need to use diamonds or netherite or gold in order to purchase them. So, what we'll do is we'll just teleport to spawn, and I'll show you what the prices are so you can get an idea of how much they cost. So our custom crafting recipe isn't actually working at the moment, but you can see here that the small protection stone costs eight shards. And in order to get the next size up, you need four and then another four and then another four and then another four. So we want to try and get ourselves the emerald protection stone, but that costs, you know, four diamonds, which is equal to 16 gold, which is equal to 64 lapis which is equal to 256 coal uh more or less so i've done the math um and oh yeah just just for context as well uh a coal protection stone costs eight shards and one shard is equal to four diamonds so a coal protection stone is equal to 32 diamonds effectively so yeah i've done the math um for what we're going to need and I'll just show you again by teleporting to the base. Um, so yeah, we have the diamond protection stone over there. So that's one fourth of the emerald. But we still need three more diamond protection stones. And so this is sort of my diamond and protection stone collection at the moment. So what we actually need, and I've done the math, so I just want to double check, is we need three diamond protection stones, which is equal to 12 gold protection stones which is equal to 48 lapis, which is equal to 192 coal. So we already have four uh, protection stones, four of the uh, the coal stones, but we need another 188 coal stones. And one coal stone is worth 32 diamonds. So we need 188 lots of 32, which is equal to about 94 stacks, or 6,016 diamonds or about 10 and a half stacks of diamond blocks. So that's what I need to get in order to get the Emerald Protection Stone. And that's a lot of diamonds. That is a lot of diamonds. So that brings us to the purpose of this episode. This is going to be our mining episode. And I want to see if we can get anywhere near that amount of diamonds. This is my diamond collection at the moment. I've got five stacks of diamond ores plus some. But obviously we're going to need a whole bunch more. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is a bunch of mining, and we're going to be experimenting with a whole range of different techniques of mining to see what is the most uh, beneficial, what's the most practical for us to do. So I've got a list of about eight or nine different methods of mining, and originally I was going to devote about 10 minutes to each one to, to try and get a good idea of, you know, how effective it is. But that would put the video most likely to the two hour mark. So I might stick to just five minutes or so per option. And that way we can still get a one hour video out of this. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get started with our first option. Uh, which is going to be to do some beacon mining at Y level zero. But in order to do some more beacon mining, we're obviously going to need some more beacons. But that's nothing to worry because I have already prepared and I have myself a nether star right here. 
I want to try and do this video with as minimal cutting as well. Um, so that it's a little bit more authentic. But I don't know how capable I am of talking to you guys for such an extended period of time. Anyway, let's grab two stacks of that. Uh, and we'll also grab ourselves a bunch of shulker boxes. So where are my chests? Here are my chests. And we do have ourselves a bunch of shulker shells here as well. Hopefully that is enough. And let's just teleport into the wild and, and get mining really wherever we land. So the way we're going to do this is by RTPing. And that's the original idea behind the 10 minute interval. Because our RTP refreshes every 10 minutes. And so originally I was thinking about doing all these methods that involve teleporting to, to new locations and whatnot. But then I realized there are other ways to mine as well. Um, which is why my list has extended so much compared to where I was at at the moment. But anyway, let's get started maybe in this section here. We're going to go down to Y level 0. So we actually have two different approaches to our beacon or, uh, you know, haste mining. And one of those approaches will be to do the same thing at Y level negative 50 or negative 53 around that sort of area at the very bottom of the world. But my other approach is to do it at this level, Y level zero, because when it comes to speed mining, um, let me call it, when it comes to speed mining these blocks, deep slate, it's not as instant as it is for um, regular stone. So I want to do a little bit of mining at this level, and I want to do a little bit of mining at the next level. So where did we come down from? I've already forgotten. Um... I wasn't paying attention, was I? Um, was it here? This looks promising. There we go. Okay, so that goes through the surface. Um, oh my goodness. There are going to... We're going to be dealing with a lot of mobs tonight. A lot of heads. Okay, so... Let's get started by digging this area up a little bit. And we'll just go ahead and place our beacon right here. So this area is going to be quickly uh, infested with bugs and, and mobs and all that good stuff. Um, because it's not a well-lit area. These are all afterthoughts, by the way. I didn't think about these things when I was first laying out my plan. But I think we want to do a haste to beacon, which means a big beacon which means hopefully we have brought enough resources. I don't even know what size a, a full beacon is. Um, I'm hoping it's this size here. Oh, and yeah, these mobs are going to be a bit of a nightmare. So let's just get this technique out of the way. All right, so there we go. And then in here, going to pop a haste to beacon. And then what I'll do is I'll just start popping down some shulker boxes. And then, yeah, just start filling them as well. So I don't really need any sort of organization for this. And yeah, let's just get started in this area over here. So I think uh, the mobs are going to be the biggest thing that we're dealing with. Uh, apparently these bats have been updated. So I've updated the server version to 1.20.4 and apparently there was a change to bats. I don't really know because I never really paid any attention to bats, but I mean, they look, I mean, they look a little bit different. I don't know. But look, the timer has started. Let's stop wasting time and let's just get going. So we're currently doing, yeah, Y level 8. Because uh, I don't want to... I want to sort of go right on the level that doesn't deal with Deep Slate and this sort of feels okay. And so yeah, anyway, I got a timer set for 10 minutes. And we're going to see if there are any diamonds on this level. Ever since they released, you know, the Caves and Cliffs update, I've stopped mining at this level, really, for diamonds. I mean, this used to be my bread and butter. Uh, y level 11 used to be my favorite. And we're actually going to be doing a little bit of strip mining at Y level 11 a little bit later on. But anyway, since the, the Caves and Cliffs update, I've stopped mining at this level. And I'm literally just a... 
Y level negative 53 is my go-to these days. Uh, and it's been lucky for me. But yeah, Y level 0 or Y level, you know, between, you know, 0 and 15 is something, like I've said, I haven't done in a really, really long time. Uh, so I'm excited to experiment and see, you know, how effective this uh, method of mining is. Because, yeah, we need literally like... 6,000 diamonds, and 6,000 diamonds is going to take forever for us to get. Uh, and probably not going to take, uh, you know, it's definitely not going to take one episode to get. It's going to take a, a multitude of different episodes. And it's crazy to think that this is all so that we can get a emerald protection stone. That's not even the biggest size protection stone. So the fact that we need 6,000 to get three quarters of the next size protection stone, you can basically think that it costs 2,000 diamonds or so to get a a, uh, a diamond protection stone. So just, you know, times multiple, just think it costs, uh, I'm trying to do math in my head, but it costs, yeah, about 8,000 diamonds minimum to get a emerald protection stone. And we need four of them. Uh, so we need like another 32,000 diamonds in, in order to get the redstone protection stone. So, you know, that is one of our ultimate objectives for the server. But obviously, that's going to take... And I've said it already, it's going to take a really, 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 really long time in order to do so. And that's what keeps, you know, this series so interesting. Um, the fact that we do have these late-game goals that we can constantly work towards achieving. Uh, it's not like, you know, other servers where you're... You know, it's really easy to get objectives. I mean, it's not even like base level Minecraft, you know, base level Minecraft, it's kill the Ender Dragon and you've beaten the game. This is by far a lot harder than that. It's always fun to play servers or play single player worlds and have these, you know, custom approaches and custom challenges and custom objectives. That's what I like about this server, that I do have these objectives and I'm always going to have these objectives because, you know, it's, it's such a huge challenge for us. You know, another challenge we have on the server, obviously, is to build a unique base, and that's a subjective uh, uh, achievement as well, which hopefully takes us to like 100 episodes or so. So yeah, uh, I'm rambling a lot, but like I said, this episode is going to be a mining episode, and I need to figure out a way to talk for such a long amount of time. I asked you guys in my last episode for any like questions. I was kind of hoping there'd be like a sort of Q&A forum or... Yeah, something to that calibre where I could just answer questions that you guys may or may not have whilst I'm mining. But I didn't get any questions, so we're not going to do any of that. I don't know why, but my last video was a bit of a flop, and it is a little bit discouraging, I guess. But then I have to remember, you know, the original purpose I started this series was, you know, to sort of oppose the current direction that, you know, Minecraft... Uh, content is and just to do our own thing at our own pace so I can't be unhappy even though I am a little bit unhappy uh, well, you know our, our SMP videos were bringing up like this level of traction that I just didn't expect and the three episodes before the one that just came out were sort of around the three to five hundred view mark and that's well, I got a taste for it and I shouldn't let me myself get a taste for it but I did and so when I got 30 views in like a day I was like oh this is so lame I lost all the momentum and I don't know why either uh, I don't know why. But yeah, that's just something, a bit of a side tangent. But uh, yeah, that's sort of something I've been sort of dealing with over the past couple of days. A bit demoralizing, but, you know, we just have to keep on doing what we're doing. Um, we filled up one shulker box already, and we don't even have any diamonds yet. Let me grab, let me fill this as well. I'm actually shocked that we haven't had any diamonds yet. Another thing I want to collect, and I mean, I'm going to collect really all these blocks, to be honest. But yeah, one of the other things we want to collect is andesite and diorite. Um, and I'm hoping that Himaray or, you know, I'm hoping Ray is still trying to collect uh, those blocks because, yeah, they're working on a mega castle uh, and they were buying it from me a while back. And a site that is. Uh, so hopefully they still want to buy some because yeah, we can use all the diamonds we can get. I just had a took a look at the tab list and we can see that Erase is the Omega rank, which is the very top rank on the server. 
which is achieved after 14 days worth of IRL gameplay. So congratulations to him. Doesn't look like he's... Omega should definitely come before Veteran, so that's a problem, but I'll, I'll have to fix that. Um, I haven't got a single Diamond yet, which is uh, kind of shocking. I thought Diamonds still spawn at this level. We are... Yeah, why level 8? Like, Diamonds should spawn here, right? Unless I'm mistaken. But yeah, we haven't found a single Diamond yet. Which is crazy, because one of our other approaches is to strip mine at this level as well. A good old faithful Y level 11. And I'm not so hopeful now. But yeah, I have a whole different approach, or a whole bunch of different methods for mining that I hope you guys are excited about, I guess. Uh, we're going to see what really is the most efficient um, so that we can get diamonds. Because, yeah, one of the things I like to do when I stream is literally just mine. Just grind. And if we can know for a fact what the best way to get diamonds are, then I can plan my streams better uh, by having an, an action plan as well. One of the things that we did recently is uh, updating the Minecraft server, the Minecraft version. This guy's got like a bucket, right? Oh, he's, I think he's got a straw hat and a gold helmet, but it looks like a bucket hat. That was weird. That was weird, right? It wasn't just me. But yeah, I updated the server to 1.20.4 and I was able to update via version and via backwards as well. So now any client can join the server. I think this is going to be ultimately really good for the server because previously to this, it was only on 1.20.2 and below, uh, which means a lot of players who play on the current version of Minecraft, which would be, I, I think, the majority of players, weren't able to connect to the server, and now they can. So I think if you're just, like, strolling for servers, and you see that, you know, a 1.20.2 server that you can't join is in your server list, then you're not going to play on it, and that's going to drive away players. But now, I think because we're more accessible, more people will want to join the server, and that's a good thing, ultimately. Okay, so we're getting towards our last minute. And we haven't found a single diamond yet. This is severely disappointing. I'm not doing this right. I don't get it. Do I need to go down further? And there we go. That is 10 minutes. 10 minutes and we literally haven't found anything. That is kind of shocking, you know? Uh, what I'm going to do is kill off a few of these guys if I can. And teleport back to the base. Here we go. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yes, alright, we got out. Thank god. Alright, so these are our spoils from our first mining um trip and i need to lay it out somewhere so this is what we'll do so we'll do um number one which was uh, uh what you call it paste mining y level zero or well, like y level eight that was our first thing uh, and we'll just put our big uh shocker boxes here 
So really, yeah, I didn't get anything at all. I also got this crap, but I don't want it. Um, oh, the andesite. The andesite is is pretty good actually. Uh, I mean, it is a good way to get yeah andesite and diorite. Anyway, let's check the andesite and diorite in here. Uh, but yeah, look, the rest of it is all pretty crap if I say so myself. And so what we'll do now is we'll go to warp speed ship on O, and we'll fix up our pickaxe. Okay, so we're going to move on to another form of mining at the moment. And we're going to take advantage of this beacon pyramid still. And I want to go down further to Y level negative 53. I'm hoping the beacon effects will carry along. I don't know how beacons work in terms of their Y level. But for some reason I do, I did think that it goes all the way down. So I guess we'll just try our luck there. Uh, I am seeing diamonds uh, around the place and I'm not going to ignore them. Like, this doesn't really count towards the approach, but, you know, I can't pass up a cave just like this. I do have to check my my corners. Alright, so I was coming from somewhere over here. I don't remember specifically now, I've forgotten. Boy, there are a lot of mobs down here. Alright, let's just keep going down. Down this way. Oh, yeah. Um, so it looks like I've lost my, um, my thing. All right, well, I guess let's just mine this up then and move it. Oi, that's mine. Okay. So, let's continue down, shall we? Alright, so this is Y level 53 or 54. Uh, so, this is where we're going to place our beacon, which means we need to dig out a little bit of this area. Um... I like to sort of steer away from the caving portion of this area and just and sort of um, dig into the ground so that we don't have to worry about there being mobs lurking. But I think because of all the lava that's in this area, um, that's one of the reasons why there are no mobs as well. So that's a bit of a win as well. Okay. Now, how big do we need to make this pyramid again? Like four layers high, right? I always forget. So we'll put our beacon here at this top one. Put it here, I guess. Uh, and then we'll start layering our pyramid around. We'll just do one layer at a time. I don't know how effective it will be to have a haste two beacon, given that, I mean, deep slate isn't even a one block mine anyway, or like a one click mine. It's not an insta mine. What I'm trying to say. I don't know how effective it'll be to even have, yeah, this. Anyway, that's fine. Um, cool. So we do like this. Try not to accidentally run into the lava like a noob, which is one of my favorite things to do. Be a noob. Oh, am I gonna have enough? Nope. So now, we have a haste 2 beacon down here instead. And so let's see, with the same 10 minute timer, how many blocks we're able to get. And more importantly, how many diamonds we're able to get. So, let's clear inventory. We do have five diamond ores, but technically they don't really count, let's be real. But yeah, got a 10 minute timer going now, so let's see if this is even worth it. Like, look, it's not it's obviously not an insta mine, and that's, I guess, one of the biggest downfalls. 
This is why I was hoping we would get things at the Y level 0 mark, but I don't know. This doesn't even feel fast. Like, I, I still feel like maybe the best approach is, like, tunneling or doing, you know, these, you know, two block high strip mines and just, you know, going back and forth. Like, I don't know what the best approach is for this. Uh, so I might, I might actually tunnel like this, um, and then once we hit the, the border, or the end of the, uh, beacon range, we'll just turn back. And we'll just do, yeah, we'll do that classic strat of, of tunneling where you dig like three blocks apart to see what you can find. So, I mean, this is a bit of a blend then, I guess. It's, it's haste mining at Y level negative 53, and it's also tunneling. Oh, I'm really disappointed that this isn't instant. Hey, there we go, look. Six diamond ores, good start. Ooh, look at that. So the top is instant. Okay, now we hit the limit. So where was the limit? Wow, we went far. Okay, limit's about here. So now we'll just move over three blocks, and we'll go back. We'll just do the same thing, back and forth, back and forth, for 10 minutes. Uh, I'll pop the diamond ores in my hopper so you guys can get an idea of how many we're up to. And I'm just going to go a little bit quiet now whilst I mine these diamonds. So turn your volume up and enjoy this ASMR, I guess. Yo, what? That was, that's a legitimate 14 vein. That's a legitimate 14 vein. That. What? That is crazy. Oh wow, I lost my beacon. I didn't even realize because it's not that much of a difference. But yeah, you can see here I'm doing a, a little bit of a different technique where I'm checking sort of every two blocks. I'm checking left, right, and up. I think this makes my approach more efficient, but I'm not too sure. I don't think I need to check the right, given there's a one block gap. So what I'll do is I'll just go forward and then every two blocks I'll just dig up and left. Like this. Because I know there's only one block in between there and nothing's gonna pop up. There we go, an eight vein. And we'll also check up, just in case. It looks like there might be some sort of cave up here. Oh, we only got a minute left on the timer, so I'm curious to just, you know, poke my head out. Because the way, you know, diamond generation works in these versions of Minecraft is that if you're in a cave, um, yeah, you're likely to find diamonds. That's sort of how it works. So 
quick tunneling and, you know, we accidentally run into a cave. Hell yeah, I'm going to check it out. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll just call the timer there. Uh, so we'll just explore this area for a little bit. I mean, it does look like there's a few veins, which is nice. So we'll just grab all these and then we'll add them to our tally. So there's three there, and it looks like there's one here. There's always a, there's only ever like one in the ceiling, I swear. There's never multiple in the ceiling, which is a bit annoying. It's almost like not even worth it. Sometimes I feel like I just can't be bothered. Um, where was it? Hello? Ah, it's there. I'm blind. Oh, it's a fora. See? Never mind. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, cool. That's. 41. I know there was another there's another one over there. There was another one over there as well. Alright, let's start get this one first. No one hit me. No one shoot me. Ah. These skeletons are annoying. There's another one there. I didn't know that. Let's grab this. Another chew up. Four. Okay. This cave is the best. I, I I do think caving is just the best way to go. I, I I feel like I'm cutting it short here. But we do have lots of other methods we are going to be trying, so fear not. But yeah, I mean, caving. Oh, it's working well right now. I'm on 49. We'll just quickly run around the rest of this cave and see if there is anything we can pick up, and then we'll add it towards our tally. Yes, I am cheating. But... You gotta do what you gotta do. Look, another four diamonds. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, the mobs are just unbearable. Lost that one. But obviously I'm gonna get it. I'm probably missing like a bunch of diamonds as well. Just in my approach in this cave. I should get that texture pack that like makes diamonds glow. Like the borders. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, if they stood out more, I probably wouldn't miss them like I do. Look at that. Look at that chat, by the way. Oh my goodness. Alright, we'll just quickly look around here. I, I'm always doubtful. Is there anything here? Doesn't look like there is. I mean, there might be. But this cave is so huge. I'll just quickly take a look in this cave. No, but it does look like an iron pocket. So if you're looking for iron, I'd be a happy man. But I'm not looking for iron, so I don't care. Oh yeah. Let's just stick our heads over this side as well. This looks like a big room. That might this might be the room that we've already checked. Yeah, it certainly is the room we've already checked. Okay, let's keep running in this direction then. Oh yeah. Alright, anything up here? Hmm. Alright, I'm going to call it quits there. 
So let's go back to our home. So I'm going to reclaim my beacon one more time. And I guess this method is a little bit of tunneling. But I think we did get more luck just from the caving. So I am tempted to list that as caving. But I won't because I do want to dedicate a full 10 minutes to cave exploration like we've just done. So yeah, in the last 10 to 15 minutes, we managed to get 60 diamonds, which, or 60 diamond ores, which I think is a fantastic result. To be honest, I think it's a very good rate of return. The only downside is we placed the beacon, which realistically had no effect. And now we have to clean up the beacon, which also takes a little bit of time. So the beacon is a bit of a pain in the ass. If I was a richer person, I would just leave the beacon here. The next person, I, you know, pay it forward or whatever. But I do value my resources. So we will pick up this iron. But yeah, 60 diamond ores from this approach of mining is uh, not too shabby. Certainly better than mining at Y level 0, I can tell you that. So that is it for our beacon mining on this adventure. I can guarantee I will not miss it. So this is haste mining y equals negative 53. And we'll put our beacon here. I'll just pick up these blocks as well, why not? Check these in here. As well as our 60 deep slate diamond ores. So definitely more effective than the first approach. So the next method is a little bit unconventional, not something I would normally do, but I thought I'd give a go at TNT mining and TNT mining at Y negative 53. So, I mean, it's very possible that we'll lose a lot of the uh, diamond ores potentially. Like I'm not I'm not sure actually if we will, if there is loss associated with this approach, but I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if there was. But yeah, I'm going to grab 64, um, 64 TNT as well as 64, um, what you going to call it, redstone torches. And we're going to give this option a crack. Uh, so I got my TNT and my torches. And let's just go back to our home out. So exact same space that we were mining at just before. Uh, and we'll just continue in this area because this area has been sort of good for us. Um, but this time, yeah, let's maybe get back in our tunnels over here. Yep. Oh, a bit sad without the ability to run. Yeah, let's just go over this way a little bit. So we'll just go through until we're done with the tunnels. Okay, so this seems like a good area to start. So we're doing Y level negative 53. I'm not going to set a timer for this one. I'm just going to go until I have run out of TNT. So without further ado, let's get started. And yeah, okay. This isn't the biggest sort of explosion, but it, it does look, it does seem lossless, which is good. Which means, you know, all the resources that we do get are going to fall onto the ground. So I'm actually going to do a few different TNTs, a few different approaches. So, yeah, I mean, it does, yeah, I, I'm hoping, obviously, that we're not losing any resources by doing it this way. But I'm not 100% certain. Ooh! I'll take that. But yeah, let's just dig, like, a tunnel. And then fill it. Like, how will this work? Oh, uh, let's get out of here. This is one of those ones where it's like, I could die if I do this wrong. So that's scary. Okay. So that was like literally nothing. I guess TNT obviously just has a little bit more difficulty getting through than um, getting through Deep Slate than it does like regular stone. 
So we'll probably get through this uh, stack of TNT pretty quickly, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, if I did have a creeper farm, this is actually a pretty good approach. Oh, I don't mind this. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these a little bit apart. Maybe like three blocks or so. See if that makes a difference. Not bad. Now what I'll do is I'll go this way. So it's like, it doesn't look like these holes are as big as those ones over there. But it is a good way, or maybe a better way, to conserve our TNT. I don't know, I'm not really an expert in TNT mining. If you guys, you know, do have any tips or tricks when it comes to TNT mining, like, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, without, like, a TNT duper, TNT duper, this seems like a pretty good method. I'll just stand here. Should be safe. Yo, we got more diamonds. Take those four. Got these diamonds here as well. These diamonds are exposing themselves to me, which is good. Um, Where'd my shovel go? Don't tell me I accidentally threw my shovel or something dumb. I'm hoping I put my shovel in a chest. Oh, this is so sad. My shovel is just gone. It better be in the chest back at home. That's all I'm saying. But... Yo, that's like the third vein I found. Bit weird that this didn't explode, but it must have been too far away. I think three blocks or three block gap is probably the best distance. But yeah, look, that was actually a pretty good one. We found uh, a few veins there. So I'm just going to tunnel a little bit this way. And then I'll try... Dig that out. Dig that out. And I'll do it like this. So these are now sort of three blocks apart. Hopefully they impact one another. Boom. Let's see how this works. That didn't really work like I thought it would. Boom, boom, boom. Get out of here! Anything? Nah. Alright, what happens if we... Load this up with TNT. So let's place 18 TNT in here. It's sort of all our TNT almost. I'm scared now. Oh, I mean, this it's a pretty big hole. But there's no diamonds in here. So was it worth it? I don't know. Let's do one more big explosion, or we'll do a few more little ones we'll conserve. There we go. Anything here? Nope. Tough luck. Alright, last batch. Fingers crossed. And nothing here either. So yeah, it looks like we found 22 diamonds from that approach. And all we did was lose a shovel, unless I put it in here, which I didn't. I've I, I don't know, I literally just lost a shovel, I guess. Got TNT mining. And now for the next 10 minutes, we're going to do some traditional tunneling. I'm just going to do it here at Y level negative 53. And I'm not going to do any fancy looking left and right. I'm literally just going to go straight. Because I can trust straight. There we go. Good start.
And we found ourselves another cave. Honestly, caving is just the best approach. Like, I, I, I think I can call it pretty early on. I know that when I take the approach of solely caving, I'm not going to get this lucky. I'm not even going to find any caves. But, yeah, I mean, oh, it's just diamonds. Can't complain, you know? But, all right. So that's about 10 minutes of strip mining. So that has really garnered us about 17 diamond ores, which isn't too great. Again, I feel like, you know, the majority or, you know, if not all of these, uh, you know, diamond ores, and we ended up just getting from caving, to be honest. So these are the four approaches we have done so far. So 17 deep slate diamond ores, which is what we just got. TNT mining was 22. Uh, haste mining at y, ne y negative 53 was 60 diamonds. And haste mining at Y0 was literally nothing. So I guess haste mining has been the most effective. But, you know, that was haste mining in combination with, you know, strip mining with a little bit of tactics as well as getting lucky with a big cave. So I don't think any of these options is really... The best option as of yet i'd say they're all pretty equal uh but i guess tnt mining is the most effective because tnt mining hasn't relied on us running into caves as of yet but we're only really halfway done at the moment there are still plenty more methods that i want to try so let's go ahead and do them now so given how long the video has been going on for now i think i'm going to wrap things up only because i want to keep on experimenting with different mining methods and it'll probably take another 45 minutes or so and i don't really want this video to be an hour and a half two hours long because i feel like a lot of people most people 99 percent of people won't even watch it to to the end so i don't want to just make footage that nobody will watch so because of that reason i'm going to wrap up the video here if you are still watching at this point uh comment something below so that i know that you are watching this <laughs> uh maybe comment uh something about rubber ducks say rubber ducks uh, are super cool or something just say i don't know just comment something about rubber ducks down below and that way i'll know that you're still watching the video up until this point but yeah anyway all that randomness aside i think this has been a successful little mining expedition we have got a few Deep Slate Diamond Ores overall, you know, at least a stack, stack and a half maybe overall, which is not too bad. So yeah, we'll wrap things up here and in the next episode, we'll continue with our different mining methods. So I hope you are all excited about that. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you'll have a good rest of your days. Take care. Bye-bye.